Welcome to another edition of Microsoft Excel Q&A with Excel Monster. Today we are looking at an email from Pascal and it goes like, please help me add form controls to a loan repayment calculator so I can have monthly or quarterly options. And from the file he sent me, the PMT function is what he's using to calculate the loan repayment, which is accurate. There's no problem with that, except this particular formula here or the function is using the monthly repayment uh, rate argument. So it's dividing by 12. He would want to have the 12 and 4 change as the division of the rate based on options from the option button for 2010 users if your developer tab is not showing on the ribbon you need to go to file excel options and then you actually go for customize ribbon and check the developer tab and for 2007 users i'm sure you already know how to get that you need to go to your excel options on your office button and then you actually would have to uh, check the button on your popular options so over here we have two cool buttons we just inserted and we want to edit that quickly call the first one monthly i just duplicated that and then we have the second one as our quarterly option just a quick one here if you are using more than one set of option buttons you need to put them in a group box so what the option buttons actually do is they give you some interactivity when you select them they are able to once you connect it to a cell link they are able to uh, push numbers into that cell so let's just try to do a quick one if you right click any of the option buttons you go to format control and then in the cell link you can connect them to a cell so let's connect to cell c1 and then when i choose option two it toggles the choices between one and two if i had more option buttons you would have it counting one two and the third and fourth and it will keep pushing the numbers into cell c1 over here now I need to set up a small choose function and then what the choose function is going to do is to based on this index number determine whether it should divide by 12 if it is 1 or it, it divides by 4 okay so it's just saying return 4 for quarterly return 12 for monthly and you see that working cool okay so all i do is to go into this cell with a formula and instead of dividing by 12 for monthly payments i'm actually going to delete that and say divide by whatever is in cell d1 in cell d1 okay let me do a control enter so i say right there and if you keep your eyes fixed on the results you see a toggling over there you can decide to hide values you are showing over here and then we can actually make this look good by doing some cool formatting over there then adding some border as well so we can add some border color to make it look good and um, we are done I click OK. I have a small application built. Hope you enjoyed this. Does Excel scare you too? If it does, just go to excelmonster.com and submit your question on our contact page or email us and we'll get back to you. See you.